Now, there are two types of herpes simplex virus infections uh, that uh, can cause gender herpes. And number one is HSV1 and number two is HSV2. The HSV1 uh, uh, is the type that usually causes cold sores or fever blisters around your mouth, uh, though it can be uh, spread to your genital areas during oral sex. So recurrences are much less uh, frequent than uh, they are with the HSV2 infection. Now the HSV2 infection uh, is the type uh, uh, that commonly causes uh, genital herpes. Uh, that virus spreads through uh, sexual contact and skin to skin contact. So HSV2 is uh, very common and highly contagious, uh, whether or not uh, uh, you have an open sore. Uh, and because the virus uh, dies quickly outside the body, so it's nearly impossible uh, to get the infection uh, uh, through contact with toilets, towels, or other objects used by an uh, infected person. Uh, you now the risk factors are, uh, the main risk factor is that uh, uh, being a woman is a, a main risk factor. So women are more likely to have uh, genital herbs uh, than uh, are men. And the virus is uh, sexually transmitted more easily uh, from men to women than it's from women to men. Uh, and the second uh, risk factor is uh, if you have multiple sexual partners. So each additional sexual partner raises your risk of being exposed to the virus that causes and genital herbs. The complications associated with the genital herbs uh, may include uh, uh, other sexually transmitted diseases. Uh, so having genital sores increases your risk of transmitting or contracting uh, other sexually transmitted infections, including AIDS. Uh, a baby is born uh, to infected mothers can be exposed to the virus during the birth process. So this may result in a brain damage or blindness or death uh, for the newborn. Now the bladder problems. Uh, so in some cases, sores associated with the genital herpes can cause inflammation around the tube and that delivers urine from the bladder to the outside world. Um, it's called urethrina. Now, the swelling can close the urethra for several days, so uh, requiring an insertion of the catheter to drain your bladder. Uh, in rare instances, HSV infection leads to inflammation of the membranes and uh, cerebrospinal fluid uh, surrounding your brain and spinal cord, and uh, it can cause meningitis. So the rectal inflammation uh, can, is another uh, uh, complication, you know. Uh, and this complication and uh, this can lead to inflammation of the lining of the rectum particularly in men uh, who have sex with men uh, so these are the main uh, complications uh, you can have uh, if you have uh, genital herbs you know